I'm Lindsay Bombrid of Nourish Move Love, and this is your 30 minute full body circuit workout. You might recognize Becky and Jared behind me. They're from the Minnesota Beef Council. You've seen them in workouts before, and they are back in action with us, and we are excited because the workouts we filmed with these guys have been some of the most popular on the blog. So we're excited to have them back with us for this full body circuit workout. And we're gonna talk about ways that you can refuel with beef as an awesome source of protein post-workout. We'll give you some pointers throughout the workout, but just so you know, there's 25 grams of protein per serving of beef. And along with that, you're getting awesome nutrients, vitamins, and minerals like iron, zinc, selenium, so many more B vitamins, all that good stuff that help you rebuild, refuel, and build muscle, which is what we're here for today, right? Right. We are here to build muscle today, and that's exactly what we're gonna do with this 30-minute full body circuit workout. All you need is a set of dumbbells, or you can see Becky and Jared have a couple sets with them so they can toggle between weights as we rotate from upper body to lower body. Your workout looks like this. You have three circuits, four moves per circuit. You do each circuit twice, close it out, and move on. Within the circuit, it looks like this. Upper body, lower body, and core. You do each exercise for 45 seconds, 15 second transition. Then we go to 30 seconds of cardio power, 30 seconds rest, repeat. You don't have to worry about the format. I'm gonna guide you through it. I'll show you each move. I'll count the time. All you guys have to do is press play and follow along. Are you guys ready to get warmed up? Yeah. Ready. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get ourselves warmed up with just our body weight and then we're gonna jump into this circuit workout. So let's go ahead and start. Feet our shoulder width distance apart. Give me that nice big inhale. Reach up nice and tall. Make sure you engage your belly. Squeeze your butt. Give me a nice baby back bend right here. Nice, reach up nice and tall. Drop the arms and just flap them. Flap them out, we're gonna hit that upper body first, and then we're gonna go into lower body, core, and cardio. It's gonna be lots of fun. Actually, from here, I'm gonna have you hinge over. Keep flapping the wings. Hinge over, hello glutes, hello hammies. You gotta activate them. We're gonna do some bent over rows, things of that nature, so it feels good to just feel what your body's gonna do. From here, give me that nice forward fold. Hands go to the ground, let those hammies, that posterior chain, just shake, 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 shake it out. Roll it all the way up to the top, big inhale. Right wrist, grab left wrist, up and over, side body stretch. We're gonna take it all the way down and around. Give me a big circle, round it out. Up to the top, switch it out, other side. Big inhale, up and over. Round it out, all the way down and around. Nice, from here, drop the arms right into squats. Just sit it back and up. So weight in the heels, squats, we always say this. Any point in time today, you can always come back to squats with just your body weight. Think about knees driving out towards those pinky toes. Chest stays nice and tall. You got it. Getting a little bit deeper with each squat. Today's workout is all timed intervals. So you get to take it at your pace. The number of reps you get in, that's up to you. You got heavy weights, you go slow. Light weights, you go fast. Nice, right here for four. Awesome. Three, we're gonna run butt kicks in two and one. Let's just go butt kicks. Get those heels up to the booty. Pump those arms, open up the quads, top of the thighs. Feels good, right? Maybe we add some jacks with the arms. Jack those arms as you kick your butt, right? A lot of coordination today. You're gonna challenge the mind and the body. Nice, right here. Give me four, three, two, one. We're gonna go step back lunges, just alternating. So we step back on the right leg and the left leg. Nice, nice step back lunges. There we go. Lunges, warming up that lower body. You get as low as you can. Think about dropping that back knee to the ground, keeping those shoulders stacked over the hips the entire time. Nice, right here, you're gonna give me four. We're gonna hold lunge in three and two. Hold that right leg back, hold your lunge, pulse it here. Tuck that tailbone to me, open up this hip flexor right here. You're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six. You're gonna go to a curtsy pulse in four, three, two. Take this right leg slightly, take it behind you, find a curtsy and pulse. Pulse and curtsy, hello, there we go. Booty burns, you got five, four, three, two. Stand it tall, tap side to side. Move laterally, laterally. Now you can tap or you can add some impact. You go skaters, push, push, push. Big bounds, yep. We're gonna move laterally today. We're gonna move front and back. And heck, you might get a burpee or two, yes. But you always get to choose your intensity, your level. You got five, four, Three, back to center, jack it out right here. Let's go, jack it, jack it. There you go, you want low impact? You tap it, you tap it. Stay nice and loaded in those legs, jack it. Right here, you guys starting to feel warm? Yep, yeah. how we doing? One more quick plank series, and then we'll start the workout. Give me five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna step this way and we're gonna walk out to high plank, okay? 
Just gonna walk out, find that high plank. Once you find your high plank, just hold it here. Shoulders over wrist, core is activated. Pull up on the kneecaps, push back on the heels. Hold your high plank if you need to take a nice wide base with your feet to keep those hips stable. You do that. Shoulder taps, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Tap it up for eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, step your right foot outside your right hand. Give me a nice easy twist. Look to the sky. Drop your left hip to the ground. Open it up. That feels good. Right hold here for three, two, Back to center, hold plank. We're going push-ups. You got three of them, knees or toes. You go all the way down, all the way up, down, up. One more, nice work from here. Step the left foot outside the left hand. Give me that easy twist, drop the right hip towards the ground. There it is. Hold for three, two, one right here. Step back, hold that plank. You got two more push-ups, two. We'll go two, oh, I'll stay on my toes for those ones. Oh, push back, down dog. Stretch it out. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. One more set of a cardio right here. We start with jacks again. Jacket, jacket, there you go. Give me eight, seven, six. High knees in four, three, two. Let's run it, run it. Get those knees up. Here we go, here we go. Gotta get that blood pump in before we start this workout. Five, four, butt kicks in three, two. Butt kicks, heels to the booty. Add those arms, jacket, eight, seven. This is it, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys warm? We're ready. Yeah, Becky. Yeah, Jared. Oh, maybe we should be doing elbows, elbow taps. We will wash our hands and hand sanitize. I promise you guys. Okay, here we go. Grab some water. We're gonna start this workout. Circuit one, shoulders and legs. Shoulders and squats. Okay, your first move, grab your dumbbells. I'm going 12 pounds. Choose the weight that works for you. Upright row to a row press. I'm gonna show you, it looks like this. So I go upright row. Roll, flip the palms, push it, okay? We're hitting upper back and shoulders. Roll, roll, press. You have 45 seconds. We're gonna stop and start that timer so we are accountable. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds transition. Upper body, lower body, I'll explain it as we go. Are you guys ready? Ready. Upright row, roll, press. You're on in three, two, let's go. So give me the upright row, and then give me the row, flip the palms, push it overhead, okay? Do it again. You got the row, the row flip and push. Now you're gonna move through this, like I said, your pace. It's 45 seconds. We're gonna talk through this motion. You're gonna get to do it twice so you get the hang of it. Okay, it looks like this. On the upright row, elbows go high to the sky, weight stay close to the body. Row flip the palm, push overhead. As I push overhead, I really gotta squeeze my glutes, engage my core, protect that low back anytime we're pushing overhead. Big exhale, using my breath to help me push those weights up overhead. Come on, you guys, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds. Every time I say 10 seconds, it should start to feel fiery. If you're not there, you gotta grab heavier dumbbells. You're there in three, two, one. Take a break, I'm gonna show you move number two. We're gonna go to the right. It's a two pulse squat thruster, so I front rack the dumbbells on my shoulder. Step to the right, pulse, two, thrust overhead. Pulse, two, thrust overhead, are you ready? You're on, in three, two, let's go to the right. Pulse, two, Push, pulse, two, push. So we're just going to that right side right now. We'll do left side second time through. Right now you're focusing on legs. So if you want, you can omit the shoulders right here and just stand. You can always take the dumbbells at your side if that's more comfortable for you. You can always go one dumbbell at the chest. Whatever feels good for you today, your workout. Either way, what we're focusing on is that time under tension on the squat. A Little bit different than a normal squat where you just squat stand. You got two pulses here, 10 seconds. There it is. <sighs> Start to feel the fire. Feel it, feel it, keep those elbows up, keep the weight in the heels. You're in that final three. Two, one, you're out. Nice work. Okay, you guys, core. One dumbbell between my hands, I find a high plank position. Option A, hold plank. Option B, plank to an alternating T-pass. Plank to an alternating T-pass. Set it up, one dumbbell between the hands. You're on in three, two, let's go. So I'm taking the dumbbell, locking it out overhead. I love adding this to our shoulder circuit because when you get that dumbbell straight overhead, you're hitting all those tiny, small stabilizing muscles in your shoulder. So good for injury prevention. One shoulder is supporting my body weight and one shoulder is taking that dumbbell overhead. All those small stabilizing muscles are working. Not to mention how low core and obliques lift those hips high 
Do you feel your obliques? That's your side abs. Side abs, they are working. Punch that dumbbell straight overhead. You're doing so good. From here we go, cardio burnout. It is a burpee with a dumbbell if you want it. You're in the final five, four, three, two, recover. You got 15 seconds rest, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna go like this, burpee, jump if you want to. Option, step back, pick up the weight. 30 seconds of fire, you guys in? We're ready. Burpees, you're on. In three, two, let's go. So give me the burpee, grab the dumbbell, jump if you want to, okay? Your pace, your tempo. How many burpees can you get in 30 seconds? I'm gonna show you low impact right here. Set the dumbbell down, step back, step in, stand up. Step back, step in. Come on, 10 seconds, you guys, let's go, let's go. Let's do it, team. Here we go, here we go. 30 seconds of rest, you gotta earn it. You got four, three, two, recover. Nice work, awesome job. Whew. I figure, might as well get those burpees out of the way right away, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, one more time through. Same moves, grab some water. Circuit, number one, do it twice, close it out. One more time through to master each move. Upright row, row press. Two pulse squats on the left this time. Plank to T pass. And only burpees one more time. We can handle that, right? I think so. All right, when you're ready, pick up those dumbbells. Upright row, row press. Woo! You're on in five. Here we go, settle it in. Slight bend in the knees, core is tight. You got three, two, let's go. Upright row, row flip them, push them. Give me that big audible exhale as you push overhead. Soft bend in those knees. It's easy on this move to let those shoulders creep up into the ears. Think about keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. I know they're working, but they're not coming up into my ears. Nice long neck here. Row, push again. You get to decide how fast you move based on the heavy weights you have, okay? I'll tell you, we're almost in that final 10 seconds, okay? Yep, you're there, final 10. Those weights should start to feel heavy, do they? That means you chose the right ones. Jared says yes, he gives me a heck yes. That means he chose the right ones. Final three, two, one, you're out. Nice work, two pulse squat thruster. You can front rack it or take the weights to your side. We go to the left for two, push overhead. That's your move, you guys ready? Legs, 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 in three, two, to the left we go, here we go. Pulse, two, thruster. Remember the focus here is lower body. So if you wanna take out that thruster, you can. But in reality, my hips, my glutes, that's what's driving the dumbbells overhead. Not necessarily my arms, okay, pulse, Two, push, again you have that option. Dumbbells can come to the side, stand, keeping constant weight in that right standing leg. Left leg steps out for two and drives in. Nice work. Yes, you guys, so good. Hello, lower body. Final 10 seconds, what can you do for me? Use those legs, stand up with some power. Yes, you got five, four, three, two, one. You're out, one dumbbell in between your hands. Give me that burpee to, or I'm sorry, plank. Plank to T rotation, not burpees yet. Plank to T rotation. Option is always to just hold your high plank. Plank to T, set it up. You're on in three, two, here we go. Alternating T rotation right here. Gently set that dumbbell down, right back up overhead. Think about, once I get to my full extension, that is an opportunity to pike my hips up. Yep, full extension. Hike up. You don't have to go fast. Hold it for a second at the top and squeeze those obliques. Your focus here is core. Keep that butt nice and low between rotations. Come on. From here it's burpee. Dumbbell, no dumbbell. Step it, jump it. 30 seconds on you. Your choice. Right? Whoo! Nice work. Come on, finish five. Four, three, two, rest. Give you a quick rest, right? Soak it in, burpee, step it, jump it, add the dumbbell or don't. I'm gonna go fast, no dumbbell. Fast, no dumbbell. Who wants to do dumbbell? Becky's got dumbbell. Jared, no dumbbell. Fast, yeah, no fast, dumbbell. no dumbbell. You're on in three, two, let's go burpees. Woo, 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, this is your cardio push. Your goal here, 
breathless. You got 30 seconds to find what breathless looks like to you. Find it, find it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Woo, push it, push it. Come on. What would it look like if I told you five more seconds? Yes, you can. Finish. Last three, two, one. Woo. Nice work. We'll go elbow taps, elbow taps, elbow taps. Burpees are done. Woo. Is that our holy bananas? I don't think we can have a holy bananas yet. Too soon? Oh boy. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Towel off. One minute recovery between breaks. I was looking back at some of my older workouts. I used to like not build in rest. Then I hit my 30s. Now there will always be a break. You can count on it, okay? I'm in my 20s. I still need a break. break. I'm gonna break it. Right? Okay, that break is necessary because you gotta let the heart rate come down so it has somewhere to go. Circuit number two, back, biceps, more legs, okay? I'm gonna show you your first move. Bent over, reverse grip bro. Hinge forward, hamstrings are engaged, belly's tucked in tight. You got four right here, four rows. One, two, three, four. I stand up and give me four standard curls, okay? Four and four. We just rotate through it. Yep, 10 seconds left on that rest. Four bent over, reverse grip rows, palms face me, four bicep curls, upper body starts. Woo, here we go, you got three. Two, let's do it, row for four. Three, two, one, stand up, curl, curl for four. Again, you don't have to stay with me. Three, depends on what dumbbells you're using. Two, nice, I'm gonna talk you through the move right here. Hinge forward, belly's tight. Pulling those leggings on for the day or those shorts. Elbows go high to the sky, pinch the shoulder blades together. One more. Stand up tall, all the way up to the shoulders, all the way down. It's a controlled motion. I don't let those dumbbells fall, I control it. Eccentric muscle building. Bicep curl, back into rows. It's just four and four. You just flow through it, four and four. Really thinking about keeping that belly tight, pulling those shoulder blades together. Relax the shoulders, focus on the bicep, upper arm. Whew. Come on, finish it. Yes. Three, two, recover. Nice work, you guys, awesome job. For legs, it is a curtsy curl. I'm gonna stand on my right leg. My left leg is gonna move. Curtsy curl, stand up, squat, up. So I rotate, curtsy to squat. You're on in three, two, let's go. Standing on the right leg, left leg moves. Squat, now your focus here is lower body. If you wanna omit the curl, you don't have to do the curl. Just a nice little bonus for those biceps. Yeah, we love to work them. Okay, right standing leg, stays planted, drive through the heel, nice. Right leg, now both legs plant. Yep, grounded in the right leg, now grounded in both legs. Distributing that weight, nice, lower body. Digging into one leg at a time, but getting both legs really. Yep, kind of a bonus move right here. Woo, we love bonus moves. Anytime we can work multiple muscle groups, five, four, three, Two, one, you're gonna go to your back. One weight or two weights, doesn't matter. It's an overhead pull, lateral flexion for that back. Leg lowers for the abs. Looks like this. Lower the legs, lower the arms, pull them both together. Okay, you're on. In three, two, one. I lower the legs, I lower the arms, it's slow and steady, and then I exhale, pull them back together. Option, one leg at a time, great option. One I'm gonna take, still rebuilding that core post baby. I want to make sure I'm focusing on form. Form is not letting my low back pop off the ground. That is form, okay? My dumbbells are touching. That gives me more stability, it's not lateral flexion. I can go heavier. If I had light dumbbells and I wanted to challenge myself, I would separate my dumbbells and not let them touch. Low back connected to the mat. Exhale brings my legs and arms together. Core and back, right here. You're doing so good, you guys. Come on, finish, you're in the final five. Four, three, two, let's go one more. Ah, there it is. Okay, weights are off to the side. We're gonna move laterally, make sure you have some space, okay? It looks like this, three skaters, one bound. We go to the right, so you skate, two, three, up. Skate, two, three, up, okay? Three skaters, one bound. You guys ready? 30 seconds of power. I need your cardiovascular endurance. You're there in three, to the right, in two, one, let's go. Skate, two, three, up, push, 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 straight up. It's a balanced cardio challenge. Ha, 
You gotta find your core, turn it on, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, 10 seconds. Yes, yes, let's go. One, two, three, ha. One, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Nice work. Okay, that was one where I said 10 seconds and I meant 15. That, it's that group fitness instructor thing where you're like, you said 10 seconds, this is getting long. Being honest with you, I went longer, okay? Break it. Grab some water. That is circuit number two. Crushing it, repeat it, and then you get a one minute rest. Four bent over reverse grip rows, four bicep curls. Say that four times fast. Okay, here we go. Four reverse grip rows, four bicep curls. Catch your breath, 45 seconds of work. It starts in five, four, three, two, let's do it. Row for four, three, two, one. Stand up bicep curl, curl for four. There you go. Three, keep the elbows off the body. Two, control those weights. Talk through it one more time. Bend over, pull the belly tight. Elbows high to the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades back, middle of the back. That's what you're working right here. Middle of the back, stand up. Bicep, upper arm, relax the shoulders, control it down up. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Repeat, four and four. You got it, come on. Yep, nice work right here. Stand up, give me four curls. You got four rows and you're out. Finish these four curls. Two more, two more. Last one, last one, give me four rows and you're out. Bend over, finish. Four, three, yes, two, and one. Nice work, awesome job. Curtsy curl, standing on my left leg. Right leg is gonna move. Curtsy curl squat, curtsy curl squat in three, two, let's go. Curtsy curl, stand up, dumbbells at the side, squat it out. Step back, shin meets calf, nice. Right here, shin meets calf, drop that back knee to the ground, squat. Not about how fast you can go, strength. Strength is for the first three blocks. Okay, I would rather have you pick up heavy, heavy dumbbells, heavy as you can, slow and steady for 45 seconds. And then when I say cardio, cardio is 30 seconds. That's when I want speed, okay? You decide your workout. Just keep moving. Curtsy curl, do you feel that standing leg talking to you? You should. You're in the final five. Four, three, two, give me one more curtsy for fun. Yes, I know it's fun, right? Working out is fun on your back. On your back, leg lowers, overhead pulls. Leg lowers, overhead pulls, okay? One leg or two leg, you decide, you're on. In three, two, let's go. I'm going one leg at a time. Really focusing on keeping that low back connected. Now I can maybe go two legs if I drop down to one dumbbell, but I would rather go heavy for my back. Lateral flexion right here. Don't get it a ton with dumbbells. Really good to strengthen our back and our shoulder stabilizing muscles right here. Hello, low abs. Think about flexing those feet. Can you flex your feet? Drop the heel, keep the foot flexed. Oh, that helps activate those low abs. Yes, it does. Come on. From here we go cardio. Yes, yes. Last time on circuit two, we're gonna close out circuit number two. Are you guys excited? Are you excited? Yes, they say. Yes. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, Recover, nice work, stand up, set those dumbbells off to the side, make room to move laterally. Three bounds, we'll go to the right again. Three bounds, one straight up. On that hop, I want you going straight up. Hold the balance, use the core. Three bounds, one hop, to your right. In three, two, let's go, give me bound. Two, three, up, bound. Two, three, drive. One, two, three, drive, one. Two, keep the knee by the knee, Hup. you work at it, you get better, right? Ha, you got it, come on, yes, yes, woo, come on. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? I'll stay true this time, 10 seconds. Final five, four, three, two, one, out. Nice work, woo, circuit two down. We'll do the air fives, air fives, air fives, grab your water, grab your water. Nice work, you guys. Okay, grab some water, you guys. Grab some water. Refuel. One minute break for you. 
I'm gonna set up our third and final circuit for you. It is chest tricep lunges. I'm gonna show you move number one. You have a push up with a straight arm kickback. You might need to grab heavier weights or no weights. You're gonna give me a push up, tricep and lats right there, straight arm. Try and keep that arm straight if you can. You can always drop to your knees. I'm gonna show you options and modifications. Then we have a pass through lunge for your leg exercise. Final circuit, you guys. Four moves, twice through. You in? Yeah. We're in. Jared's in, Becky's in. They're finishing strong, I hope you are too. Set it up. Push up on your dumbbells. Push up, straight arm kick back. You're there in five, four, three, two. Here we go, so give me the push up and then take this arm straight back, okay? Try and keep it straight. You're just lifting it up to your hips. You don't have to overextend, right to the hips. Hello, triceps. You're gonna feel this one tomorrow, I promise. Woo! Yep, gonna hit your triceps in a different way. It's a fun one, chest and triceps, a great move to pair together. They are a push muscle, a push muscle. They work together, okay? They work together, use them together. Your option is always take the push up from the knees, then can you pop to the toes for that tricep kickback? Yeah, that's a good option. Knees on the push up, pop to the toes, straight arm on the tricep. A lot of options here, you guys, a lot of options, and you're in the final five. Four, three, two, one, you are up, standing on your left leg. My right leg is gonna move. I go front lunge, right into reverse lunge. Pass through lunge, tap in between if you need to, or don't and make it a balanced challenge. You're on, we'll go front lunge, right leg in three, or left leg in three, two, let's go. Left leg goes forward, pass through right to the back. Woo, hello core, hello balance. Yep, you're just stepping right through. Like I said, you have options, you guys. Stand up, tap, go back, tap, or pass through. Make it a fluid movement. You decide. Trying to keep those shoulders stacked over those hips, those weights. Working that leg in a different way, right? You gotta explode off the front leg, woo! And then you're relying on the right leg to help stand you up from the back. Nice way to work both sides, yeah? Woo, 10 seconds here. 10 seconds to feel the fire in the legs. Back on the ground for core, no weights. Five, four, Three, two, one, you're off. No dumbbells, take it down to the ground, lying on my back again. We're gonna go flutter kicks, okay? Option, hands go by the butt, we'll start there, I'll show you more options. Kick those legs out, lower to the point where you say, oh my goodness, my core, and then you chop. Scissor chops in three, two, one, let's go. Chop, chop, flex your feet, toes to the face, chop your heels, how fast can you chop those heels? Chop, 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 yes, there it is. Activate the core. Think about pulling the hip bones together. Okay, option A, I stay right here. The more I lower the legs, the harder it's gonna get. Okay, your arms, you wanna make this harder. Take the arms out from the butt and keep them at your side. You're like, yep, got that. Arms go straight up. Oh yeah, there you go. Woo, keep that low back connected, keep it connected. You want it harder? Arms go overhead. Oh, chop, chop, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull the knees to the chest. Last move of cardio. Are you ready? Last move of cardio. Single leg lunge drops. Get that sweat off the floor. We'll go left leg drop, since we did left leg on the lunges, looks like this. Drop together, drop together. Just my left leg goes back. Just my left leg, 30 seconds. Who's with me, Jared? Let's do it. Ready Becky. for some holy bananas. Let's holy go. bananas, this is it, you gotta <laughs> find it. You're there, in five, four, Three, two, let's do it. Drop, hop, drop, hop, drop, hop. Add the arms, come on, run our arms. Ha, woo! You wanna take out the impact? Step back, lunge, give me a power drive. Drive, this is low impact, ah! Come on, it's gotta be powerful. This is cardio, let's go. Yes, woo, 10, nine, come on. Eight, seven, finish, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Yes, you guys are awesome. Grab some water. Woo! Refuel. One more time through. That's it. 30 minutes at home. No gym needed. What are you having after this, Becky? Is, we're saying we're working out before dinner. She's having beef. What's your favorite cut? Oh, I like a ribeye. Ooh, a ribeye. Jared. He grows his own beef, so he can tell you anything about beef. <laughs> What's your favorite cut, Jared? It's hard to beat a cheeseburger. Oh, a cheeseburger. I'm just playing cheeseburger. 
Good cheeseburger. All right, I'll tell you what I'm having after we finish the next cardio set. Yeah, the suspense. You gotta hang on for it. Right? I need to know. You need to know. <laughs> push up, kick back. Push up, straight arm, kick back. Push up, straight arm, kick back. Last time through, you guys. 45 seconds starts. In three, two, let's go. Give me the push up, the straight arm for the triceps, the back. Yep, right there. Gotta stabilize the core. Feel that core turn on anytime you move that dumbbell? Hello. Chest, triceps, core. Push muscles right here. Oh, they work together. You drop to the knees when you need to. Form, that's what I care about. And how softly can you set that dumbbell down? How softly can you set it down? It's gotta be with control. Shoulders out of the ears. Oh, we're doing it, you guys. Yes, we are. You go to the knees when you can or when you need to. You drop to the knees before you stop moving. Just keep moving. Final five. Woo! Four, almost there. Stay with it for three, two, one. Yes. Pass through lunges. Other side. Standing on my right leg. Sorry, standing on my left leg. Right leg is gonna move. Right leg passes through. We'll go to the front first. Front lunge. Front to back. Pass through if you can. You're there in three, two, let's go. Front lunge. Kick it off. Reverse lunge. Big push off that front leg. Push. And now you gotta use that front leg. Oh, there we go. Alternating what's giving me power right here. Either way, shoulders stay stacked over hips. Keep moving, keep moving. You're doing so good. So good. So good it burns, right? Yep. So good it burns. Come on, you guys. This, core, and cardio. So good. Oh, I love when I see light at the end of the tunnel, don't you? Yeah, they're like, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Come on, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Oh, I gotta give Jared and Becky credit, you guys. It takes guts to show up and do this on camera. Come on, three, two, one. You're out, down to the ground. No weights, flutter chops. Set it up, on your back. Hands go by the butt to start. Legs go straight up the wall. Toes are flexed towards my face. Lower the legs to where you feel the core engage. Option A, hold here. Option B, chop, chop, chop. Let's go. Come on, like you're chopping wood. Chop, 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 chop. Right here. Whew. Keep breathing. Pull those hip bones in. Pull the hip bones in. Whew. Yep, catch your breath. You're gonna need it. Cardio is next. Make it harder. Arms go to the side. You can stay there, right, right where you are. Arms go straight overhead. That's another option. You really wanna scale this? Arms go straight up. Neck and shoulders come off. Oh, there it is. Yep, holy bananas. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! You guys ready? Last cardio set. Wipe that sweat off the ground. It's getting sweaty in here. Yep, we're working. Okay, you guys, right here. Right leg drops. This is it. This is it, and I need you to find your holy bananas if you haven't yet today. Lunge drops. 30 seconds in three, two, let's do it. Drop, come on, give me those arms. Let's go, quick feet, yep. You know your options. Take out the impact, give me the knee drive. You decide, your workout, finish strong. Yes, you can, come on, let's do it. Woo, come on, you guys, let's go, finish. 10, nine, eight, yes, seven, all you got, six, five, Four, three, two, ah, one. Nice work. Air five, air five. Nice work, okay. I'm going for the filet mignon. I got expensive taste. I haven't had a filet mignon in a oh, real long time. Good choice. Yeah. I'm my, this is for my husband. Tim Baumgren, send it to him. Your wife wants a fancy date with a filet mignon. Okay, all right. We'll put in a good word for you. Thank you. I know some people who make beef. I don't know. Okay, you guys, let's cool down. My heart rate's high, how about you? Yeah. Yes. Let's put it down to our butt. That sounds nice, doesn't it? It does. Down to your butt. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Right leg goes up and over. Pull the knee to the chest. We'll stretch out those legs, those glutes. Since we finished on the glutes, we'll stretch them. Okay, Whew. catch your breath. That was awesome. I know that I built some muscle right there. Grab heavy weights, go for it, you guys. Circuit training is fun stuff. From here, I'm gonna pull my left leg in and make a seated figure four. 
going to stay on those glutes. We're going to challenge your flexibility back here, Jared. Oh, I'm not very flexible. <laughs> right? That's why we work on it. <laughs> you guys, I have to say my son this morning. So he's three, working on the whole potty training gig. And he's potty trained. He just, the overnight thing, the overnight thing, he still wears a pull-up. And asked to not wear it, peed the bed. It's a big rigmarole. Drop your legs over to the side. Sit up, take a spinal rotation, right? So he pees. You got to wash the sheets, the pee pad, put the bumpers back in so he doesn't fall out of bed. Like, it's a thing because the kid's got stitches under his chin from falling out of bed. Um, How traumatic. Right, I know. Send the legs out long. Re inhale, reach up nice and tall, and then slightly hinge forward. Don't think about collapsing to the toes. Think about pushing your hips back towards that wall, okay? If you reach the toes, great. If not, you just stay here, and then you can collapse. And so, he gets up this morning. I made him wear a pull-up again because I didn't want to do the sheets again. And he goes, I go, buddy, oh, there's a little pee in there. He goes, yeah, that happens sometimes. We'll keep working on it, Mom. And I was just like, buddy, if you maintain that attitude in life, let's go other Fantastic legs. Attitude. Right? Yeah. Oh, you are gonna go places, my son. Train and I was mom. thinking about that, like it's so true, right? Like you don't just I was like, I was really frustrated yesterday morning and I shouldn't have been. He's three, he peed the bed, no big deal. Pull your leg in, figure four. I was super frustrated, but like when he said that to me, I was like, I didn't just show up one day, pick up 12 pound weights and start doing these workouts. I didn't just show up one day and have, you know, followers on Instagram. Like that's just not how it works, right? You gotta show up every day. You keep trying, we'll get better. So like, I was just like, oh, such a good motto for life. <laughs> take the legs over. What you learn from your three-year-old who pees his pants. And take a nice spinal rotation, other side. And Brody, probably the biggest fan of beef in our house. The kid eats steak. He is a meat and potatoes Bad boy. Bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> you should see him. He's a thick boy, too. He, he has muscle on him. The kid is strong. Bring it back together. Butterfly your feet. Soles to touch. Pull it in. Push the elbows into the inner thighs and slightly hinge forward. That kid likes steak. He likes a good, rare steak like his dad cooks on the grill. He loves a good steak. We're a steak family. We like steak. Also like a good roast in the crock pot because it's easy and I'm a mom. All about easy. <laughs> Favorite easy meal. I need more easy meals in my life. Go Hot buddy. dish. Hot Any dish. beef hot dish is so easy, easy to make ahead, store in the freezer. Yeah. But when we grew up farming, we would get in like 9, 10 o'clock, and our, my dad's go-to meal was what he called brown hamburger, which is literally just brown hamburger, and if you like ketchup, you can put some ketchup on it. I didn't like ketchup, so I just ate. Do you <laughs> like ketchup now? Uh, no, no, not no, really. It ruins the meat, right? Yeah. Like, I like the meat. Yeah. Let the beef But if you want an itself. easy meal to make, not many other people I've found have liked that, but just brown some hamburger and eat it with a fork. Brown some hamburger, eat it with a fork. It's a very it. last minute quick meal when you get in at 10 o'clock. Yeah, farmers, you guys work hard. <laughs> I'm like over here sweating, and Jared's it's like, good... I, this is like my 5 a.m. to no. 6 a.m. I do this all day. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? You guys are so good. Okay, let's just slap the wings one more time like we did when we started. We're going to do one more, one more stretch. Take your right arm, set it on the ground, left arm reaches up and over, big side obliques, get those lats. We hit a lot of lats today, which is fun. And then switch it out, other side, reach up and over. Nice, bring it back to center. Whatever beef or meat cut you choose today, it's gonna be good because you get 25 grams of protein per serving in beef and all those good vitamins and minerals we're looking for. Great way to rebuild, refuel, recover, and build some muscle. So come back, do this workout again, refuel. Thanks so much for joining us, you guys. We got more workouts at nourishmovelove.com and more beef recipes at mnbeef.org. Have a great day.